Cowbirds. I actually had Sue walk around and walk towards me, so I did questions across. Because it was cowbirds, you know. Okay. Is this, a, is, is this, this is a, should be a helpful activity because it, it helps you analyze and then, well, I, I'm going to try that. Okay. So the other thing that comes with this activity is this activity, which is for you to take home. And I know some of you were looking at the answers first, you know. Uh, do this and then, then there's the answers behind it. Okay, so it'll give you some kind of reference point. Okay. Things that you now 
have the ability to do. You can write, and you can photograph, and you can draw. It's about putting things together. And we're going to talk about putting your photos with your writing, and that's called photojournalism. It's not photojournalism. That's what you get in college and newspaper. Photojournalism is when you have an image, then your mind is free to describe the image, but not necessarily describe exactly in, in on rote what is in the image. If you can turn the, the lights down, please. I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Photojournaling is simply to merge words with images. In this case, we're going to use photos. You don't have to use photos. So photojournaling, combining descriptive words, phrases, or short essays with what Sue's been teaching you. Words, images inspire the words. The words inspire the images. Okay? For example, white water lilies fold silently on the black water, anchored secretly in the deeper darkness below. Does that give you an image? Okay, here's the image. When you have this image, you don't need as much of this. So you can go, you can simplify. Lilies float silently, anchored secretly in the deeper dark. You don't need to know it's white. You, know, you don't need to know these sorts of things. It's inherent in the image. It's not captioned. It's com the completion of the thought. Starting with the image, or starting with the words. For example, well, first of all, how would, what would you need to take that? Tripod. Tripod. And? <coughs> Slow shutter speed. Slow shutter speed. That's all. Okay. All right. So, I wrote about this, a waterfall, like ribbons made of snow. Okay. If you just had this, and this is not complete, this is not complete, but together they make a complete, a more complete thought. <laughs> There's this picture again. In my journal it says, sharp and detailed where the sunset stands the heron. Sharp eyes, sharp beak, steak neck. Okay? All those things complete in the image. Here's one somebody else wrote. William Blaine, 1823, coming across Illinois. He said, how shall I describe the sublime spectacle that then presented itself? I have seen the old Atlantic in its fury, a thunderstorm in the Alps, and the cataracts of Niagara, but nothing could be compared to what I saw this moment. The line of flame rushed through the long grass with tremendous violence and a noise like thunder, while over the fire there hovered a dense cloud of smoke. It passed me like a whirlwind, and with a fury I shall never forget. Prairie fire. I mean, we don't write like this anymore. You know, this was in this gentleman's journal, which he subsequently published. All right, well that's photojournaling. So everybody, pencil and paper, line and paper, we're gonna, we're gonna try our hand at it. I'm gonna show you an image, and you're gonna write a thought, okay? You're gonna write a thought. This is, this is the equivalent of that quick sketching, quick thinking, no agonizing. You write what hits you. I like the roar shark test. Okay, are you ready? All right, show you an image. We're going to short descriptive phrase for each photograph. And the emphasis is on short. Show you what I wrote in my journal, and then you got to share what you wrote. Okay, next.
Here's mine. <laughs> 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 